Welcome back to ENCA. Now, youth unemployment in South Africa remains quite dire. And nearly 30 years into our democracy, we're still seeing, of course, high levels of unemployment. But as the country marks another youth day, ENCA visited schools in Katlehong, just south of Johannesburg, and found hopeful young people who are trying to beat the odds. Business anchor Melissa Tihi has more. Well, I want to be a mechanical engineer, a musician, a businessman. When I grow up, I want to be a meteorologist. I want to be a doctor and an actor. I won't be scared because I'm too confident. Young dreams. But as reality unfolds in front of them, many know wishes don't always come true. Some people have like degrees, but still though they are still living in the townships. Not finding a job after I'm done on my trick. 29-year-old actuarial science graduate Sietzin Kobese is hoping to change things in his hometown. Through his We Solve for X program, he offers free math tuition to school pupils across the country. Where we started assisting kids with maths in different schools, then we saw the need to continue to assist more so that we can close the gap so that learners can perform better in mathematics. But we also go a step further by bringing parents in to teach parents maths so they can help their kids. If you have maths. More than three and a half million South Africans between the ages of 15 and 24 are not in employment, education or training. That is a staggering number from Statistics South Africa. Here in Katleong, there are initiatives to help learners with math skills to hopefully save them from falling into this bracket. Most um, of our students or learners, they come from uh, poverty-stricken family backgrounds. And number two, um, broken homes, child-headed homes, um, for one reason or the other. There are obviously social ills and evils that placate the community. By extension, there are few professionals in the area. You, you see, we were looking that is at our economic situation in South Africa. Clearly, when the economy is not in good position, it will clearly impact that is to other aspects of life because they are interdependent. Unfortunately, South Africa is a, a country with an economy that is less conducive towards providing jobs to the youth. Many of the more artisanal type of jobs like uh, being plumbing electricians, uh, motor mechanics, uh, welders, that kind of thing, uh, where we are being compelled to import a lot of those skills when there is a massive availability of unskilled labour that can be developed. We have to take care of our own pipeline, number one, but we know that even if those children don't make it all the way to become actuaries, they will become, uh, they'll do analytics, they'll become data scientists, they'll become engineers, um, they'll become math teachers. Ngobese says he has faith that black youngsters can grow the current 2,000 actuaries in the country to a much bigger number. My mother was a street vendor, I was also selling vegetables at school. So in school in grade 2, I started selling sweets uh, from grade 2 until matric. And then I was from 2004, I started selling vegetables house to house using a wheelbarrow. So I've been serving the community for quite a very long time. Melissa Tehi, ENCA, Katleong.